is equal to true, and which um, which lets you add uh, the uh, parameter out of it. So how do you use the OAuth effectively uh, using a simple uh, Java class? Uh, is this there's basically we have uh, different entities where you have uh, some kind of uh, disconnect uh, uh, if you if you use a RESTful web services. Uh, say uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you have uh, you know um, using the URL of a specific URL for a specific entity, for example, a connection entity, you uh, have to um, log in every time uh, you know to to access the uh, uh, resources uh, from the LinkedIn. So for that case, we have uh, we come up with. A, uh, different ideas where you uh, store uh, your uh, LinkedIn uh, authorization in your uh, client machine or uh, the drive itself. Uh, that's when I uh, come up with this kind of code where you know you uh, pass these hash map, uh, the authorization and uh, the user key and the user uh, uh, secret key has been passed to the hash map. Uh, and uh, the authorization, uh, the LinkedIn authorization has been uh, uh, done and it's been passed through uh, through this get access token, um, and this access token has been uh, uh, been accessed uh, through OAP services. Um, basically, you um, have this uh, service builder and provider uh, to access the uh, LinkedIn API class, where you pass these hash map and the get API call from these uh, hash map table. Where you get the API uh, secret key as well. So here you uh, get the uh, uh, service, uh, OAuth service, uh, uh, and you get the request token out of uh, the OAuth services, and you get the uh, request token object, um, which is uh, which is then uh, being verified across uh, the. Uh, Across the users, basically, who signed in uh, to the Know Your Kin, so they they will have some kind of uh, kind of a token where they have to uh, uh, verify with the with the LinkedIn. So this kind of process has been uh, uh, simplified, where you know in Know Your Kin, you uh, you access only once. Uh, uh, these resources need not to be. Uh, over and over, uh, you don't need to log in, or you don't you you use this service object again and again. So, so for that purpose, we have a object output stream uh, where we write these access sub file uh, within the uh, uh, drive itself or within the uh, local object local uh, system itself, where we uh, write these access sub file and. Uh, And you, you you can pass this object input stream. Um, basically, you can uh, um, you can access this uh, access sub file uh, from um, from object input stream where you you invoke this object input stream uh, from the different uh, uh, class uh, as well as from different uh, other than main class which you expose to the client. Uh, so. And it's uh, we can also read uh, these um, 